Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today, we're going to do a little something different than what we did yesterday when I was showing my top five favorite small EDC knives. I had a couple of comments that made me think I want to do a video of my top five budget EDC fixed blades. And guys, these are great knives. I carry these a lot and they won't break the bank. Before we get into these, if you would, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. It would help me out hugely. I would really appreciate it. Starting out, this is going to be the first little EDC fixed blade that I brought into my collection. I was searching on White Mountain Knives, where I do a lot of my shopping. I have no affiliation with White Mountain Knives, except that I use them for a lot of my interesting purchases and find them to be just a really good retailer, and I like to use my discount codes. But anyway, when I'd first seen the Chickadee, which is a more expensive knife, I was curious if I would even carry a small EDC fixed blade and how it would go into my daily carry. How would it fit into my daily carry? Would I use it? Would I pull it out? Would it be something that, you know, became a natural part of my carry? And this little knife is the knife that really drug me down the rabbit hole and made me realize that, yes, little EDC knives have a really fantastic purpose and uh, they're very handy. This is the Tucson TS-150. Guys, this little knife is a fantastic value at about $46 retail. That's before you put in your 10% code of your favorite YouTuber. I usually use Lefty10 because it's easy for me to remember. I think Tri-State has a code. I think a lot of others have a code. So use your favorite YouTuber's code. I don't have affiliate links or codes. But uh, I use Lefty 10 to save another 10% off of that. Brings this knife under 50 bucks. And what's so great about that is you are getting a knife that is an S90V steel. It's a long design knife. It's got a really nice satin finish with a nice belt satin grind. It is very, very slicey, very pointy. I don't have the Chickadee out here with me, but it is close to the same size as a Chickadee. When we talk about a small EDC knife, guys, this knife's four and a half inches overall with a, hmm, we'll call it two and a quarter inch blade. But it's got a nice choil. I can get a good three fingers on it. And let's be real, what I'm using this for is to open packages is to make small cuts on strings, things like that. Um, maybe cut a little bit of wood if I need to, but this comes with this Kydex sheath. It did not come with this IWB loop that I got off Amazon for about 11 bucks. But again, this little knife, this Tucson TS-150, will come in at under 50 bucks, S90V, super, super great value. So moving on, we're going to go to the largest and the most expensive knife in this category. So when I talk about budget knives, most of these are going to be much less, but I think of a budget knife as $100 or less. And this knife was unique when I first saw it on White Mountain Knives. It is a Mercury, an Italian-made knife, same company over in Maniago Knife Makers over there in Maniago, Italy. Mercury is one of the brands. And they make this little knife called the Cali. Now the Cali for me is a full four finger knife with this nice sheep's foot blade and N690. Super, super nice micarta handles. And I love the way that it comes with this little pocket dropper sheath that you can just put in your front pocket, your left pocket and Put it in like so or if you want to carry it in your right pocket you can put it in like so i carry my uh, fixed blades since they're not my primary carry in my um, left pocket so that's how i would carry that one so this little guy's 99.99 so it's going to be the most expensive of our budget knives but i wanted to show it because it is right over five and a half inches 
it does have a two and a half inch blade and to that choil it has a three and a quarter inch handle and it's also got a very thick handle very thick blade that comes down to a really sharp edge and it's a full handful knife so not only is it the most expensive knife on this particular budget knife list it's the um the largest one that we'll see but that's the mercury knives cali so moving on we come to a couple of more two sons that i picked up at white mountain knives again i added the straps these little guys come with a plastic belt loop or belt strap that you can use to to carry it like a traditional knife i don't like to do that i'll either put an ulti clip on it or typically a horizontal loop and i'll wear it on my appendix so this particular knife i thought was really cool when i saw it it was the two sun it was at white mountain knives and i want to say it's the two sun ts 247 but i'm not sure guys it'll be in the description um, when i post this video up tomorrow but guys this is a little blade that i thought was really cool because it's got this compound grind with a deep hollow here in the center and then it's got this thick sharp tanto tip with this very interesting full tang construction with the micarta handle that actually sits proud of this tang so it's not flush um, but it does give you that extra grip and you'll notice you've got jimping here and you've got this um, hand area that really with this area right here and the tang or the uh, choil locks your hand in so i think this little knife is a fantastic little edc knife very minimalist um, very unique very inexpensive i want to say this was about 48 dollars before i put in my 10 percent discount that took another four dollars and 80 cents off it it's right over five inches with a two and a half inch blade and if you measure from that choil you're at two and a three two and three quarter inch handle so again guys just another neat budget edc knife under 50 bucks very unique done very well and the actual tucson number will be in the description some of these knives might not be in stock right now but they will be back in stock because justin gets his stock updated quite often and i've seen these knives come in a couple of times since i've got them but just like all the two sons, the sheaths work great. The retention is tight, locks in, just a great knife for under 50 bucks. So moving on, we come to yet another two son and probably one of my favorite two sons. This is another Wong design. It is more of a straight up drop point knife with burlap micarta and m390 steel nice jimping on the blade tall flat grind it's very very slicey and has a dedicated handle with no choil but i can get three fingers solidly on that knife and one thing about this knife and with the cali is it does give you a place for a lanyard which i can see well how a short lanyard with a doodad might give you somewhere to get a little extra purchase on the knife but i can handle this knife very well i look at it as kind of one of the larger size of the knives that we're looking at today second largest behind the cali but it's a full tang contoured micarta scales done very very well very nice sharpening choil very nice jimping has a nice little swedge here is m390 and again has a sheath like the other two sons that don't rattle that lock in carries the knife very well and it is a small knife it's going to come in right at five and a half inches with a two and a half inch blade and a two and three quarter inch handle and this one is, uh, I'll put it in the description. It's another Tucson. I've got all these written down in my White Mountain um, 
orders, so I'll pull it up so you guys all know which one it is. But this is another great knife. It was, I want to say, $56 before I put in the 10% discount. And uh, that's with sh free shipping too, guys. So um, 56 take off 10%, once that another $5.60. Which brings us to a knife that you should run, not walk, and grab if you like the look of it. This is a knife that is a Brother. Brother is the company, if you guys have followed my channel for any amount of time, I picked up a couple of slip joints from them off of Amazon. They're an Amazon-only company. I've found them to be great quality, very nice slip joints. When I was looking at the site the other day, I saw this little guy. This little guy is a little fixed blade. It's the FO15 in D2. People go, D2, that sucks. Well, it's D2. I get it. Um, it is very sharp. I haven't cut with the other knives. I should have cut with the other knives. I'm sorry about that, guys. I was just trying to get through this a little quicker for you. But this little knife... came screaming sharp. Unboxed this a few days ago and I've been carrying it ever since because it's such a small little chode of a knife. Very similar to in look to the Essie Kandura, except the Essie Kandura has a treated blade, a little bit different blade, and it's a lot thicker blade stock where this one's very thin, very thin behind the edge and very small. It says on Amazon that it's my car to handle, but I'm convinced that it's G10. Um, the size of this little knife is right at five inches. The blade is right under two and a half. The cutting edge is two inches. And to that choil, you're at two and three quarter inches. And what's nice about this knife is it does have a wider handle, so it does give you more grip. So I can get a very stable grip on that knife. It's a package destroyer. It opens, does anything you need it to do. I mean, it's really a great knife. And guys, this knife right now is on sale for $19.99. You can either get it in this configuration with the satin D2 blade, or you can get it with the blue G10 handle and a black wash blade. The sheath is very good. It doesn't have quite the retention as the Tucson. I put the leather strap on it. It comes with one of the little plastic belt loops, which is fine because you can get an ulti clip or a strap for another 11 bucks. They actually get two. But guys, this knife is $19.99. And that's the Brother F015, a little fixie, little economical EDC knife. I love this knife. I love the uh, Two Suns. That's the N390. I love the Two Sun that has the proud scales that sit higher than the actual tang that's in 14C. I love the uh, Mercury Cali, Italian made N690 knife, the most expensive one in the group, which is right under 100 bucks. And then the first fixie that I got when I was checking out the EDC knives that I could recommend to anybody if you wanted to see if an EDC knife fixed blade will fit into your rotation, that's the Tucson TS-150. I've recommended this knife to so many guys who've tried it out, and they've all really liked it. So guys, that is five of my top budget fixed blades. Great values, great knives, a great way to get into it and see if it's something that's worth spending a little more money on if you want a nicer fixed blade. But these will all get your job done. This little knife right here for 20 bucks will do anything you need a small fixed blade to do. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the video. Please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon. Please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.